Hello everybody, this is uh, Tony Beism's Ultimate Wargaming Update. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video. I got some of my armored units uh, set up on a table by uh, not really in any certain order. I just thought I'd set them up and kind of do a run through what I've got made and things I'm making. You can see this before you. Currently there's about 290, I think it counted 299 pieces on here. I don't really have them, like I said, in any order. I just got different types of tanks, uh, tank destroyers and assault guns sitting out. You can see right there, there's the uh, 105 millimeter tank destroyer, which would have been be on the theoretical E35 chassis. Right next to it in the camouflage pattern is the E35. Right next to the E35 is the E45 uh, tank. Behind that is some uh, tank destroyers mounted on the Panzer II chassis, which I will have some of in this scenario. Even though the game takes place in uh, 1952, I thought it would be kind of an interesting twist if they were still using some of the Panzer II chassis mounting larger guns on them in a uh, casemate. Behind it, behind you is the E-15 Panzer. I have lots of those here. Uh, they were easy to produce, and so I made quite a few of those. Right behind those, uh, if you can see it in the picture, is the E-35 Jag Panzer, which is a large barrel gun on it. Right behind that is the Panzer Camp Wagon 9, which would have been considered a light panzer. There's some more E-35s. Behind that is the Panzer Camp Wagon 7, which is considered a medium tank. It would have been a heavy tank. I only made a small production run of those. I liked them, but I thought since the scenario was set more uh, set in 1952 that I didn't want to make a lot of the Panzer Camp Wagons models. Uh, I'm going to focus more on the E-Series Panzers that the Germans were working on and had actually started developing towards the end of World War II. So, anyways, these are kind of modeled after the Panzer Camp Wagon 4s. Uh, interesting story behind those, the Panzer 4s were actually still being used up into the 1950s. Uh, ones that had been produced, were made, were left over for whatnot, were uh, being used, uh, some were used in the uh, Arab-Israel wars. I think some were produced, uh, bought by Egypt and some other countries. So they were actually still being used up into the early 50s. I don't know how long until the 1950s, but probably until, uh, probably, you know, they were either destroyed or, or through the battle of attrition, they just ran out of them. So anyways, I thought I'd have some of those. Uh, another variation of the uh, Panzer, of the uh, E-15s. Okay, right behind here, if you can see these, Four tanks, uh, three, there's one kind of right there in the lower left and then the two directly behind it. Those are kind of modeled after the Stugs or the Stugs uh, with the side skirt armor on it. I thought those were kind of cool. I made just, a, like I said, there's only three there and that's all I think I made. I may have made some more, but I didn't make a lot of those uh, and I probably won't, but I thought it was kind of cool with the side armor. Okay, behind it is the, uh, it's modeled off the E15, E15 chassis. Once again, it's a Sturm Panzer, which was an assault panzer. Usually those were on with the heavy howitzer gun used for destroying bunkers or uh, buildings, things of that nature. We got quite a few, I think we got three rows of those. Here's some more Panzer Camp Wagon 4s. Uh, quite a few rows of those. You can see all those. And over here, I just want to see, let you see what I also made that is not on display because I didn't have the room to set it up. Get out of the shadows there. You can see here, there's some more. Okay, here's some more. This is like a total of uh, 16 boxes here, so I got quite a few. I got personnel carriers, uh, trucks in that one. 
There's a bunch of turrets, uh, things like that. Not sure. There's some tanks underneath it. Uh, there's another box of tanks. Some trucks. Cool. I like that stuff. I made kind of a longer truck there. I showed that in one of my earlier videos. Kind of made after the Opal. I think that's how it's pronounced. The Opal Blitz truck. That was cool. There's another box. There's some more tanks, uh, personnel carriers. There's a whole bunch in that one. You know, this, I got, I was trying to figure out how many I thought I had. Uh, just in tanks and assault guns and tank destroyers, I estimate I have probably you know, six or seven hundred so far. And that's only the first phase of the war game. There's going to be three phases. Uh, so anyways, that's what I got for the Germans. I'm going to be doing some videos here probably within the first of the year uh, with the Russian side of forces, which I have not done at all. So, and I, I got a, some feedback, people asking me uh, who are the Germans going to be fighting, and of course they're going to be fighting the Russians, and, but I haven't shown any of the Russian equipment, so I'm going to start showing that. Kind of back up here, and I'm going to see if I can get it all, so you can see how many. So there's a lot of stuff here. 299 tanks, assault guns, and tank destroyers on this table. Cool. Well, I appreciate the uh, feedback I get from you guys. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions are welcome. Uh, you guys have a good day, and I will be having more videos to come. Thanks. Bye.